Hello everyone, so today I will be showing you how to install Windows Whistler Build 2257 in VMware Workstation. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open VMware Workstation. In this case, I'm using VMware Workstation 15. Once you have VMware Workstation open, you're going to create a new virtual machine. Make sure it's set to I will install the operating system later. Next. Make sure it's set to Microsoft Windows, and then for the version, it's set it to Windows 2000 Professional. Once you've done that, click Next. And then the virtual machine, Windows 257. Once you have done that, click Next. You can either leave it at 8 gigabytes, but in this case, it'll change to 50. And then you're going to set it to store virtual disk as single file. Click Next. Click Finish. Once you've created the virtual machine, you're going to click Edit to Virtual Machine Settings. You're going to click on the hard disk, click Remove, click Add, Hard Disk, click Next. Make sure, and then set it to IDE, click Next, Next. You, once again, you can either, either leave the to make in this case, I'll turn you to 50. Make sure it's set to Store Virtual Disk as a single file, Next, click Finish. Once you have created the new hard disk, you're going to click OK. Now, before we install Windows Whistler, we're going to create a boot delay in the virtual machine so that we have time to power to the BIOS, uh, boot settings, etc. In this case, I like to use Notepad. So you'll go to doc you'll go to File Explorer, open Documents, Virtual Machines, open the virtual machine that you are using. And you're going to right click on the VMware, VMware virtual machine configuration document. Edit with Notepad, whatever program you use. This window will pop up here. So after the first line, you're going to click enter. And then you're going to type BIOS period boot delay space equals sign space quotation marks. And for how many seconds you're going to end the boot delay, you're going to have three zeros after it. So say, for example, I want to boot delay it by seven seconds, 7,000. So, or if you're going to do four seconds, 4,000, five seconds, 5,000, et cetera. Once you've done that, click File and Save. And you can close out of that in the File Explorer tab. So now we're going to power into the virtual machine and change the date. Since this is an evaluation copy of Windows, Go ahead and play the virtual machine. So click F2. So once you're in the BIOS, you're going to go to the system date settings and you're going to change the date to August 31st, 2000. So August 31st, 2000. So once you have changed the date, you can, you can hit escape, enter, and then enter and then once it boots up again you're going to hit escape and then now you're going to insert the iso image into the cd-rom drive so player removable devices c dvd id and you go to settings you're going to check the connected box you're going to click use iso image file you're going to browse and then you're going to browse for the iso image file for this build of whistler it will be provided in the description once you've done that, click OK. And now go down to the third option, CD, CD, ROM drive, and then hit enter. And then now we'll be entering the Windows Whistler setup. All right, so once you've reached this screen, you're going to hit enter, enter again. And now you're going to hit the C key, hit F8 for I agree. And then now on this screen, we're going to make a partition. So you're going to hit C, enter, and you're going to install it on the partition that we just made. So hit enter, and then format the partition using the NTFS file system. And now it's going to format the partition. And now it's copying files to the partition, so we'll wait for that. All 
All right now your now your virtual machine will reboot, so you can either wait the fifteen you can either wait the amount of seconds, or you can just go ahead and hit and press enter to restart. Alright, so now we have entered the Windows Whistler out of box experience, so we're going to go ahead and wait for it to finish loading. Alright, so once you've reached this screen, we're going to we're going to click next. And now it's installing devices. Alright, so once you have reached this screen, you're going to click next. You're going to type username. Once you have typed your username, you're going to click next. And you're going to name the virtual machine. I'll just name it Whistler2257. And then you can type in administrator password if you want, but I won't, so you can go ahead and click next. And then now you can go ahead and set your time zone. So once you've done that, click next. Now it's installing networking components. All right, so for the networking settings, you can just leave the typical settings. And then you can set it to know this computer is not on a network. Click next. Now it's installing more components. All right, so now it's just finalizing installation. So you can just wait for the screen to pass. Alright, so once you've been prompted with this one, you can just go ahead and click No. Now your virtual machine will restart. Alright, once you've been prompted with this one, you can just go ahead and go to cancel. So once you have logged onto the desktop, we can go ahead and install the, graf the graphics driver. That will also be provided in the description. So you will take the installer disk out of the drive. So player removal devices, C E I M E. Settings. Now you will browse for the other ISO, ISO image, TCB VMware graphics driver. So once you've done that, click OK. So once the graphics driver CDISO is in the DVD drive, you can go to Start. Right click on my computer. Click Properties. Hardware. Device Manager. Right click on video controller, click update driver, leave it at, leave it at install the software automatically, click next, click yes. All right, once you've done that, click finish. And you can go ahead and restart the computer. So turn off computer, restart. As you can see, there's already some changes taking place.
And that's it. You have successfully installed Windows Whistler 2257 in VMware Workstation. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my resolution. All right. So yeah, that is Windows Wizard 2257 in VMware Workstation. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.